Okay, so uh, this is just a little a little test model that I've built in Unity of a hotel lobby. It's a work in progress. And I just thought I'd show you guys uh, how it looks in DK2. And um, yeah, so let's have a look. Awesome. Okay, so I'll just go and start out here in the entrance. It's kind of rough, but um, still gives us a good impression of the scale of this space. So this is the lobby of a rather large hotel. So the entrance here. Um, the whole thing's just been light mapped. There's nothing uh, fancy, no dynamic lights or anything like that. Um, and so I'm using simple techniques, just sort of mapping video on the wall here to show this uh, this kind of water sculpture as it might look. Um, over here are the uh, the pods, as they're called. These are like kind of glass pods. It's just really awesome with the positional tracking. You can kind of you know, get a feeling of how these might look. You go inside of one of these guys. See these columns here as well. So I'm just using cube maps for the reflections. We've got real-time reflections on the floor here, and uh, cube maps for a lot of the other <coughs> the other elements. So I'll go in here. You can sort of, you know, see how that looks there. It's a nice refraction refraction shader pinched off the Unity Asset Store. Anyway, so let's just wander over here and have a look in the lobby. So there's the, this is the entrance to the lift. This is where the lift lobby is over here. And we've got these, uh, these black mirrors on the wall here with these video uh, projections just running in a loop. Um, actually, I'll tell you, I'll go up the stairs. Let's wander up these stairs. This is really awesome. I mean, you really get a feeling of the space. Like the scale of this, this space is pretty pretty awesome. You just walk up the stairs here and you've got this kind of bridge that just sort of traverses the, uh, the lobby here. And you can look down, see the bar area. There's like a bar area down there. I've just put some static people in just for scale. Um, I might add some uh, some animated people walking around. So there's this kind of um, atrium that runs down the centre of the building here and it's going to have these sort of artificial waterfalls and stuff in there. So this is just like a rough mock-up at the moment. And we'll just kind of continue, you can see down here again, you've got the bar. We'll just run through here. It's this really beautiful sort of sculptural element that just cuts across the space. That's quite a nice view. You can now have a look at that. Just run through. I'm just going to accelerate through here. This would be like a breakfast area. It's like these kind of fins just running around the side of this space and it just connects the, uh, the lobby to the other side which has got a, a second entrance just down here. I'm probably going to build like a, an outside area to both ends, of, both entrances, just to just to kind of give it a bit more, a uh, bit more of a, a, a realistic feeling. But for now, this works really well, just to kind of convey the space to the client. So we'll just wander around here and have a look. See, this is the bar. Hi, mate. All right. He's asking for something. So this bar area here is. Uh, Kind of nice. It's all very sculptural, loads of curves. Most of these objects we have modelled directly in Rhino and then just pulled them straight into Unity um, using um, using a plugin in Max, which does a really good job of maintaining the geometry. And this atrium here is really, really awesome. So there's like a kind of seating area here. You can come and chill out, have a glass of wine or a cocktail, admire the view. 
This will have projections on it. So we'd be looking at kind of really cool video projections which could simulate all sorts of different things like mossy rock or you know butterflies flying around or what have it what have you. So yeah, we'll just run around the side here. We've got these stairs and uh around the ramp here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it's working really nicely. So yeah, that's uh Unity, basic light mapping, and uh, DK2 as an architectural visualization tool. And that's it. Thanks for watching.